All right, Green Thumb Garden family. I like Natalie Spike at you from right here at the Green Thumb Garden channel. Right here in the Grow Zone, 8B in Tifton, Georgia. And in today's video, in today's video family, we're here at Easley Island in our backyard food forest. And we're back here today because in today's video, we're going to be conducting our 2022 harvest of purple sugarcane here from Easley Island. We've been growing the sugarcane here all year long since I think we planted this sugarcane back in February of this year here on Easley Island. We grew this sugarcane here as an experiment. We've been bringing you guys along for updates on this sugarcane all year long. But at this point in the growth season, it is time to harvest our sugarcane. Now, we're going to be honest with you guys. We've already been out here and conducted a test harvest on this sugarcane about a week and a half ago. We did that um, after we got those first two initial cold snaps here. Because typically, uh, when you're growing sugarcane, that first or second cold snap of the uh, growth season is what really makes your sugarcane take on a very sweet taste to the actual juice that's um, held inside these individual section of um, sugarcane here. At any rate, you guys can see our sugarcane has grown to a towering height here. I'm going to get you guys down in and for some close-up and show you guys that we have several new canes growing here along the base of our now towering sugarcane. And we'll leave those canes here to over uh, winter here in this same garden bed. We'll munch them in heavily using uh, predominantly the leaves that we're going to remove from these stalks before we actually harvest the sugar cane out here and also the very tops that we're going to chop off these sugar cane stalks before we actually get in here and harvest the uh, sugar cane itself now again we've been growing this purple sugar cane for about since february so um and it's um almost november here it's today's no uh, october the 27th here 2022 so again, we're going to get out here and harvest our sugar cane. But one thing, if you guys never grown sugar cane before, you never harvested sugar cane before, one thing you guys want to uh, take into consideration before handling sugar cane, before walking amongst your sugar cane during the growth season, before handling your sugar cane in any way is that the leaves on sugar cane contain small, tiny needles akin to fiberglass. These are some tiny, 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 sharp needles and they'll embed themselves and readily embed themselves in your skin. So anytime you're handling sugar cane, put on some gloves. We got all some gloves out here today because we know that all of these leaves, I have to take you guys in there for a close up, you may be able to see some of the tiny little needles along the edge. You guys see those little tiny little needles that look like fiberglass on the edge of those, uh, these sugar cane leaves? Those things will readily embed themselves deeply into your fingertips, your arms, your anywhere that they, this, uh, these leaves touch your body. So. As you guys can see, I have on long sleeves out here, and I have on long sleeves out here in these gloves because I'm not uh, in the mood to be trying to find tiny, tiny, tiny fiberglass-like needles in my skin and remove those um, needles after handling this sugar cane out here. So at this point, what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually mount my camera on my trusty chest mount here and attempt to bring you guys along for the process as I remove all of these lower leaves here up to about this point or here something like that and we'll chop off the top part of this sugar cane up at about this level here and harvest that bottom part down there at the bottom down there and we're only going to be harvesting we are again we already harvested one stock of sugar cane from here so we're going to harvest this second third fourth fifth and sixth stock of sugar cane and we'll leave all of the smaller ones we have again many 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 smaller canes currently developing around the base of our sugar cane plants out here. And that'll be next year's uh, crop out here. We use these same leaves that we again removed from these stalks before we harvest these stalks to help mush these um, our um, younger canes in for the um, fall and winter 2022 to, um, season. And we'll get back out here and with our next update on the sugar cane in the spring of 2023. At any rate, if you guys might on my trusty chest mount here if possible. I want to try to make this harvest video as short as possible because we have several more things to get done here at the Green Thumb Garden channel today. We've already recorded several videos and we don't have that much free space left on our device to be honest with you guys. So I'm typically going to take my um, machete here and go along these stalks and 
remove as many of the leaves as I possibly can. Again, if I was doing it with my hands, it would be a terrible decision on my part to try to handle and remove any of these leaves with my bare hands because even these dry leaves on their sugar cane contains those same um, needle-like fiber glass um, type um, thorns that will embed themselves into your skin readily. And you'll have a hard time seeing them, so you'll definitely have a hard time removing those needles once they embed themselves into your skin. So again, I highly, highly, highly recommend the use of gloves when handling or harvesting sugar cane in any way prior to having all of the leaves removed from it because again, those fiberglass needles are not your friend and they do hurt. This is our first attempt here at the Green Thumb Gardening Channel here in Row Zone 8B at growing sugar cane. We grew up on an 83 acre farm down in North Florida growing sugar cane every year so Growing sugar cane is nothing new to us, it's just new to us here at this location here in Tipton, Georgia. You guys can see. We remove those leaves from our stalks that reveal those pretty purple sections of sugar cane there that hide beneath those leaves. Again, the leaves from sugar cane make great mulch, not only for your sugar cane bed, but any other garden bed in your garden. You can actually purchase sugar cane mulch from a lot of garden centers. We're speeding through this video as much as possible because again, we don't have very much space left on our device. We've already recorded about three or four videos this morning that we're going to get edited and uploaded to YouTube at some point during the next day or so. So we're going to try to make this harvest video as short as possible. Again, I always use gloves. I always wear long sleeve shirts. I always wear long pants and all of that stuff when it comes to walking through your sugar cane at any point during the growth season. If you're doing any maintenance on your sugar cane, any fertilizer, anything like that right there, always adorn yourself with long sleeve shirts, gloves, etc., etc., etc. You ever had the displeasure of having fiberglass embedded itself into your skin? You know how difficult it is to find it, and you know how difficult it is to remove it from your skin, even if you do locate it. So, again, you have the exact, exact same experience handling this sugar cane. If you don't protect your hands, your skin, any exposed parts of your body that might come in contact with the leaves of your sugar cane prior to harvesting it, you will have that same, again, dreadful experience. And it's not a pleasant one again. Okay, we're up here at our fifth uh, and final stop of sugar cane that we're going to be harvesting during this video. Again, as you guys can see, once we remove those leaves, it really exposes those precious sections of cane that we're seeking here during today's harvest. Again, always protect yourself because this sugar cane is not your friend when it comes to the thorns on the leaves. All right, get you guys in here. See all the um, leaves that I removed from the sugar cane. Yeah, we'll take these same leaves after this video. Place them well around our remaining younger and newly developing stalk of sugar cane here. And I'm a backyard food forest. At this point, I'm definitely gonna come through I'm going to whack the tops off of each one of these stalks of sugar cane. Some here, where along here. And I'll come back with my um, shears and I'll shear this sugar cane off down at the lowest section down at the, as close to the, to the uh, ground as I possibly can. I'm going to get in here right now so I can get you guys aimed up high enough to watch me whack these top of these canes off. Here. 
excuse my shoddy camera work. Hopefully you guys can see this. I'm just gonna take my machete and wipe those, the top of each one of the stalks off, such as that. Remove any lower leaves that I can. Shouldn't be that hard, but some of the tops of these sugarcane stalks can be a little stubborn. Okay, we'll take this one from this angle, get in here and whack it off about right there. What we're simply doing is chopping and dropping this sugar, the tops of this sugar, sugar cane down here along the base of our plants down here. Get in here and get this one done right quick. I'm hoping I'm getting you guys in the frame. I can't see you guys. I can't see the camera from here, so. Very, very simple process. Guys, pardon me for a second here. Don't have sugarcane thorns in my arm, but I do have thorns from this invasive weed that's growing right beside my sugarcane actually penetrating my sleeve over here. It's not one thing, it's another. All right, as I get these thorns removed from my sleeve, We have one more stalk of, two more stalks of sugarcane to remove these tops from. I'm gonna get that done right now and hoping again, I'm getting you guys in the video for this. If not, my apologies, I'll show you what it looks like once I get this last top removed from this last stalk here. All right, here we go. It's our last stalk. Walk it up about right there. Again, we're simply chopping and dropping the leaves and the tops of our sugarcane around the base of our main and sprouting sugarcane here. It's a mess out here right now, but we'll get back out here shortly at the end of this video and get it cleaned up and put in place the way it actually should be. At this point in the video, I'm going to take a quick pause. I'm going to grab my shears and I'll be right back. All right, Green Thorn Garden family, we're back. And at this point, I'm gonna take my trusty and rusty pruning shears here. I'm gonna get in down here along the base of each and every one of these sugarcane stalks, as low to the soil as I possibly can. Take my pruning shears, I'm simply gonna whack off each one of the stalks that we're harvesting today. Again, our very first sugarcane harvest here at the Green Thumb Gardening Channel ever. Certainly not our first time harvesting or uh, growing or harvesting purple sugarcane. Super excited and pleased to have been able to brought you guys along for today's process. And as we reap the benefits of this year's task of growing purple sugarcane here at the Green Thumb Gardening Channel here in Grow Zone 8B in Tiffin, Georgia. Get our sugar cane here, got it together. I'll show you guys the small totality of this year's harvest, but a harvest that we're nonetheless thankful for. We're thankful for everything that nature allows us to grow here, that God allows us to grow here and harvest here in our backyard food forest. And this itself is indeed another harvest that we find ourselves giving thankful thanks for here at the Green Thumb Garden Channel. Again, we're here at Easley Island, our backyard food forest. Our first time growing this purple sugar cane, and this is the, the totality of this year's harvest of purple sugar cane from here at Easley Island in our backyard food forest. Take a look at this. Bam! Yes, indeed, Green Thumb Garden family. Doesn't it look good? 
And I can assure each and every one of you guys, guys out there currently watching this video that this is some, some uh, sweet sugarcane. Again, we harvested the stock of this sugarcane about a week and a half ago. As I show you guys proof of around on my front porch here in just a second. Let me grab these few stalks here. Walk you guys back around there right quick. And show you that first stalk of sugarcane that we've been gnawing on here for about a week, week and a half. And that thing itself is good and sweet. So we know that these stalks themselves are sweeter even so than that first stalk that we harvested again about a week and a half ago. Take a look at this, guys. You guys see that? We harvested this stalk of sugar cane about a week and a half ago it's here by our front door on the porch here. Now, a lot of you guys out there might be asking, well, why do we have our sugar cane inverted like this? We have our sugar cane inverted like this to allow the sweeter juices from the lower sections of our sugar cane to make them weigh themselves down to where the sugar cane is not as dark yet because these top sections are not as sweet as these bottom sections. But by inverting our sugar cane for about a week or so before we begin to actually eat it, we're allowing those juices and the sweetness to even out amongst the top sections, middle sections, and the bottom sections of our purple sugar cane. We're gonna leave this cane down here in the front porch, kind of spread it out a little bit. It's not much. Again, it's our first time growing. We started out with a few small chunks. We still have about 12 smaller canes growing around there in our garden bed. And this is the totality of this year's harvest of purple sugar cane from Easley Island in our backyard food forest. Thanks for watching. And if indeed you currently do find yourself watching this video and you're not already subscribed to the Green Thumb Gardening channel, please take a moment to press that subscribe button beneath this video, that like button, that notification button, and be sure, Green Thumb Gardening family, be sure, be sure, be sure to share this video with your friends and family as well. Thanks for watching.